More than 300 documents containing evidence have been unsealed in the Lindsay Clancy Schmurder case. In January of 2023, 32-year-old Lindsay Clancy took the lives of her three children, five-year-old daughter Cora, three-year-old son Dawson, and seven-month-old son Callan. She would then attempt to unalive herself by jumping out of the family's home window. Lindsay's defense argued that she suffered from postpartum depression and was over-medicated. However, prosecutors argue that the deaths were premeditated. In the nearly 300 pages of document, there were 11 search warrants that were previously kept confidential, and these warrants sought access to collect exercise bans, medications, phones, computers, notebooks, cameras, a bloody knife, and other physical evidence from inside the Clancy home. Wood shingles from the exterior of the family's home were also collected. According to the documents, Clancy's notebook contained documentation of her medications and thoughts of suicide. There's also mention that she used her phone to document her mental state and research ways to unalive. Other evidence taken in the investigation include samples of blood and urine, and swabs from underneath her fingernail. During her arraignment in February, Assistant District Attorney Jennifer Sprague outlined Lindsay Clancy's day leading up to the evening of January 24th when she is accused of unaliving her kids. Lindsay took her daughter to the pediatrician, played in the snow with her son and daughter, talked to CVS about stool softener for children, and asked her husband, Patrick, if he wanted to get takeout for dinner. She added that people at the doctor's office, CVS, and the restaurant said that Lindsay seemed coherent and did not appear or sound distressed, and her speech was not slurred. After picking up the takeout and going to CVS, Patrick Clancy returned to a silent home and found his wife bleeding. Patrick Clancy then calls 911 at about 6.10 p.m. During this time, Patrick can be heard asking his wife, what did you do? She responds to him and tells him she tried to unalive herself by jumping out of the window. Patrick can then be heard asking, where are the kids? He later told police that she replied, in the basement. Then, Patrick Clancy finds all three of his children in the basement, having been strangled with exercise bands. Cora and Dawson were pronounced dead at the hospital on January 24th, and Callan was flown to Boston Children's Hospital with traumatic injuries and placed on life support. He later passed on January 27th.